Hello, and welcome back to Dentures vs. Food, where I try to teach you how to eat with or without your dentures. Today we're doing something a little unique. You've seen me eat chicken in the past. But today we're eating cold chicken. Now somebody requested this because they like cold chicken, and I like cold chicken, so it was not an issue for me to do this video. <laughs> However, I got some extremely crispy chicken yesterday, and I enjoyed it while it was hot. And today I have pulled it out of the refrigerator. And one thing I know about cold chicken is that it's much more dense and much harder to bite through. Therefore, you actually have to take even smaller bites. So. I'm going to dive into this and one thing I do with cold chicken because it's much more harder to bite through is I actually use my push technique and I push on the food slightly on the bottom denture and I try not to pull away until I have my teeth locked together so something like this. Okay, because it is much more difficult to bite through cold chicken than it is through hot chicken. I was trying really hard to come up with an analogy, a comparison, but I can't. So remember to Make sure your teeth are locked together before you try to pull, okay, and take a much smaller bite. Once you have full pressure lock down on your teeth, you should be able to pull it apart. I really try not to talk with my mouth full because I seem to spit food everywhere. But I would say it's about as hard as eating an apple, but it's not. And it is still very crispy. Went into that too fast, bit down too fast, my bottom denture lifted up, came back down. Luckily nothing got under it. And I didn't bring a napkin in, I guess my pants will have to do. <laughs> Let me send you backwards a little bit here so you can see me better. So, get this rinsed out because I like to prove nothing in the bottom denture and only denture pick in the top denture. So somebody asked me why I do that in almost every video and the answer is real simple. I like to prove to you that things are possible without adhesive. Not all things are possible without adhesive. If you have a shorter walls on your denture or a flatter palate on your denture or a denture that just floats on the bottom gums, you're still going to need to use adhesive. But all things are possible with or without adhesive. Mm. 
Mm. Hold that thought. Had to grab a napkin. So, I think it's. Mm. I think it's best to be honest. If you're making videos and you're showing how to eat things, if you're using adhesive, you need to let people know. If you have a Dr. Soft Reline, you need to let people know. If you have some special stuff you put in your denture, you need to let people know. I think it's only fair to people to be honest with them about a product that you're using or if you're using nothing at all. And to prove that so that people know you're not lying. I caught one person on YouTube bragging about all this food they could eat with their dentures and they slipped up. They made several videos bragging about how much food they could eat with their dentures. They were eating apples and all kinds of things. And one day they were eating something and I can't believe they posted the video. They were eating something and something happened and they got mad and they pulled their dentures out and they had implants. And they got trashed in the comments about how these aren't dentures, these are implant stabilized dentures. You're trying to say you can do all this stuff with real dentures, regular dentures, this, that and the other. They were falsifying what they were able to do because they had implants, not dentures like we have. So the channel has since disappeared. I can't find it. But I think it's, it behooves me to be honest with you. I don't know if you saw what I just did there. I pushed on the bottom denture first before I bit down. So I hope you can see this. So I'm pushing on the bottom denture first. And the reason I'm doing that is so that I know that bottom denture is locked down. Cold chicken is a pretty dense food. And you already know to push on the bottom denture. Sometimes you have to push on it before you even touch the food with your top, top denture. Now I always try to eat slow and kind of demonstrate what I'm doing. That's that. piece of tendon on a drumstick that nobody can chew. Couldn't even chew that when I had real teeth. But I really like the drumsticks.
okay? So I always try to eat nice and slow and demonstrate what I'm doing. And I got a box full of Krispies. Mmm. So when I went and ordered this chicken last night, I got the last 10 drumsticks they had in the box, in the, in the pan. And as he put the last drumstick in there, I said, hey, you can pour those, um, pour those Krispies in that box while you're at it. He was like, really? I said, oh yeah, I love the Krispies. <laughs> That's where all the flavor is, in my opinion. But anyway, I always try to demonstrate nice and slow so you can see what I'm doing. But then I like to show eating in real time. So this is real time, right here. You'll notice I'm kind of searching out my next bite. This is good stuff, my friends. We can eat as normal as everybody else out there. Takes a little practice, a little time. <laughs> I have a trash can right over there, that blue thing. So I'm not just throwing them on the floor, guys. All right, so there you go. Real time eating cold chicken and
I love the crispy bits. When I lived in Phoenix, there was a little place. All they did was fried chicken. And I used to ask them to save all the crispies for me and I'd pick them up at the end of the day. Of course, back then, I only had one tooth over here and one tooth up here to chew with. Had rotten teeth. So I can only really chew on one little crispy at a time. So honestly, it is very nice to be able to put a big three finger. Mmm. I love my dentures, and over time, if you don't love yours already, you will. It may take a little time, it may take a little more practice, it may take a little more effort, but believe me, you're going to love your dentures. You're going to be able to eat so much more than you could with bad teeth. You're going to be so much happier. Nothing happens overnight, unfortunately. It's going to take a little time, but you're going to get there. I have faith in you. I will see you in my next video.